Are we just selective in what we see? Maybe. I thought maybe because he or she has kind of like very ruby kind of yeah. eyes. So I thought maybe that like sensitive to light or anything. And maybe they can, um, Muffin can see far away details. Okay. But then up close it gets, diff like it's... You would think that they would see closer exactly, and then see exactly. further away. Oh, see, she's, Hi, she's good. Yeah, good girl. Hmm? And I was doing that test at home too, so it'd kind of be like 50-50. So I'm like, let me just... And it's hard because sometimes these guys don't give us consistent results. Yeah. Oh. But And another th reason why I wanted to kind of bring her in is because I, whenever she's now in the bigger cage, she's always at the bottom. And it's not because she's sick. No, just because she prefers it. At the yeah, bottom. so I don't know if it's because like she doesn't really know where things are and then she just falls. And I saw a bit of a dry. I don't know if it's dried blood, but just to double check on mm. one of her wings, it seemed a bit dry. Oh, she might poop. Just the heads up. <laughs> no, but it. Yeah. You can see my towel, or, or you can't. So just on one of the wings, I forgot which wing it is, it's on the side. Okay. And then there was some on the chest area, but I gave her a bath yesterday. I didn't realize it was, I thought it was just um, kind of residue from her veggies or something. Mm. So when I gave her a bath, that kind of went away. So I don't know if that was also kind of like, I don't know, dried up blood either. Oh, here. Yeah. Is it a... Just a little scab. Okay. Yeah. It should be fine. You are feisty. Oi. <laughs> yeah, and then other than the vision, I just wanted um, DNA test. Yes, for sure. Can you just close the lights there, please? Okay. worse when it's really bright or when it's dark to be honest no. i find that it it doesn't really change i think she can see light i don't know if she can see detail mm. That's why, because I was wondering, because she's with my other birds in yeah. the same cage, so I'm like, it might just be better if I separate her at that point. Well, yeah. If I'm already concerned. How do they er er interact with her? They don't care for her much. I hate that, but they're like, we don't care about you, do your thing. And I think my budgies think that she and Blossom might be the same bird, so they can't really recognize the difference, which sounds horrible, but Blossom definitely yeah. notices the existence of her. Yeah, because she's like there's and whenever I'm playing with it, she just comes flesh, she just like preen me as well, scratch me as well. Do you notice her bump into anything? Oh yes, a lot. When she's flying she'll just fly to the wall, plummet down. So she'll fly well. She has no issues with flying. If I scream her name, which I keep being you know, I keep doing because I don't want her to yeah. get smacked. Does the she wall. get used Honestly, like I try aiming for her legs. So, because she flies in circles, so again, I don't know if she's not that great at flying. Oh, one of my birdies probably pooped on top. Because I get the shit at the bottom. How did you know that? Yeah, that's... She's also very tame. Yeah. And that also makes it hard because you raised her since yeah. she was a baby. So hands don't scare her as much yeah. as other birds. But she did flinch a little bit. Yeah, that's the thing because it's always like 50-50. When I was doing yeah. the test too... And then I know this looks horrible, but I was yeah. doing this, and she didn't react. But sometimes, I like, I don't know if it's because she needs to blink, so she's blinking. I know, versus actually blinking because yeah. she's scared that you're going to hit her. 
she has like no I don't I think her detail vision is not good but she can see light so if something passes over her like a shadow or something mm. like that then she can see it or if things are have contrast to them mm -hmm. she can see it but I'm not sure she can see detail mm. unless you're very tame this makes it very hard <laughs> That's why, because, like, um, I was also asking some of my friends who were very good breeders with yeah. cockatiels why she has, like, a bald spot. Mm. And they said it's because sometimes they're inbred or the gene passes down. Mm -hmm. And most of them are more prone to being blind. Yeah. Definitely with inbreeding or the... Because I thought when she didn't have any pin feathers, I'm like, oh, they're going to grow. She's obviously not going to, like... But she doesn't pluck her, but it never did. And she was never exposed to other birds that would bully her no. either, right? I think her vision is a little bit compromised. And it's part it's part of that Lutino factor, I yeah. think. Yeah. Okay. But animals are so good at Yeah. You know. Yeah, they were telling me too that if but she most likely either would you know, some of them do well with a friend. I don't yeah. think so she minds anyone. But some of them, if I have caused multiple birds, it's best in that situation to, you know, separate, section. Yeah. yeah. Or even just, not that those completely separate her, but you can still have her yeah, in the they, same room. Just not the same case. Exactly. Because yeah. we, we never know when the other birds might turn on her or bully her. Yeah. yeah. That's why I was wondering, where did that bl bl little bit of bluff thing came? Did it come because she smacked into the wall? Or, or one of my birds nipped her a bit. And the other thing is that for blind animals in general, when I touch them and they don't see me, they kind of, it's like someone scares you. You're like, yeah. whoa, where is that coming from? But she doesn't care. Yeah, she doesn't care for it. But that's the other thing is that I don't know if that's because she's tr so trusting. Yeah. That she doesn't care that she can't see you, but she can feel you. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Like, both my birds really like scratches and the other yeah. two wouldn't. So if I start scratching the other two and they start liking it, obviously I know that's abnormal. I'm bringing them in and I'm like, they're not the same. That's not normal. I gotta bring them in. Exactly. But, but the, for this yeah, one, you're like... Yeah, it's normal. Normal. Yeah. I think we may be a little bit vision compromised. And that's okay. We'll just have to adjust her. Let me see if she can go back on the perch. How did you know that was there? See, I think you can yeah. see a little bit. Um, I actually, because I initially uh, assumed that she might be blind, I taught her how to step up and step down. What my other bird, Blossom, uh -huh. I never assumed that they, I mean, I knew birds could be blind, but I actually thought it would be age related. Yeah. And she took a longer time to kind of turn, turn around. around. And, yeah. But she, I just put my hand there and I didn't give her any cues and yeah. she knew my finger was there. And then Puffy. she, yeah, but she's also feeling her way around a little bit. You see, yeah. she's just trying to put her beak down. Yeah, she does that sometimes as well. Oh, but I don't really think it's gonna Im impact her quality of life. Okay. I mean, she's cute. So that that helps. <laughs> she's so freaking cute. Where are you going? Yeah, she used her beak to touch yeah. my finger, and then... I don't see anything wrong with her, Fatma, but yeah, I do think maybe there is some vision issues. Mm. There's nothing a whole lot we can do, but she's Will happy. Will it get worse? Um, no, she'll just learn to compensate for it. Okay. Yeah. And eventually, even if it gets worse, she's just going to kind of know her way around Exactly. Okay. So in her cage, I would advocate for not moving things around too much, just mm -hmm. so that she has that issue. She doesn't have that issue of trying to find, refine no, things. Yeah, okay. Um, and if she likes staying at the bottom, then that's fine. Or even just lowering her perches a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so that if she wants to perch, Yeah, she doesn't really perch at the highest place um, anyway. So that makes sense because yeah. she can't see very well. Okay, so let me just go get a weight and a blood test for her. Okay. For She's her still, DNA. She's still too young. I don't want to do her beak or her nails. They're still pretty Okay. Good. When can we get the results for the DNA? I'll probably get it in a couple of days. Okay. Yeah. You're going to email me the results. Do you want me to email you? Yes. 
Can I get, uh, just going to confirm your email. Okay. Um, just one thing. Can you not put it in the header or anything? Because my friends are going to be doing a birthday surprise. Oh, like Aww. a gender reveal for her. Yeah, we did it for Muffin. So they're like, we got to do it for um, Blossom. No. Other way around. Yeah, I got way, you. Other I got you. Around. So don't put it in the header and just put it, um, just Muffin's Yeah, because I'm going to Yeah, I'm going to email it to them. actually back from the vet um i saw dr yi this time dr yi was actually already familiar with muffin's situation basically after further testing we figured out that muffin actually doesn't have much vision uh, she could only see well i'm saying she but we did a dna test as well so the results will be here in a week so i'll be revealing her her or his gender in a week but basically dr yi thinks um that muffin is just a bit visually impaired uh so basically she could only see shadows mainly darker shadows rather than light so in light you know when when it's especially a very bright place that you know muffin is having a bit of a challenge seeing stuff and she's not good at seeing detail so what does that mean for the future basically muffin has to be separated the reason is is because i have multiple birds and it just becomes an issue with safety and you know also muffin might be doing better with a smaller cage i also found that in our larger cage um that muffin tends to spend most of her time at the bottom of the cage again this might be because she's scared that she's gonna fall and she might not be used to that very tall you know cage so we are going to move her to a smaller cage. Uh, the cage is going to be just for her. It's going to also be easier for me to monitor, you know, if she's able to find her food and how she's doing in that sense. Um, I don't want people to feel sad. Muffin has a very good life. You know, it won't, ex uh, you know, it, this won't affect her life expectancy in any way. She's just visually, you know. She can't see, basically. I mean, she's blind, but there's different forms of blind blindness. She can't see detail. So, basically, she won't be able to see my hand. She can't see anything. But when I do this, she'll be able to see that it's dark. We did further testing. And also, um, my vet took her at the back because she was going to uh, pull out a, a feather for the DNA test. We also found that, you know, she was taking quite some time at the back. And my vet... You know, she was kind of asking, you know, the text advices and she was kind of doing a bit more, you know, testing at the back. And she said that she really thinks that mm, Muffin probably is not going to have any vision. Um, will it get worse in the future? It doesn't really matter because at that point she'll get adjusted to having, um, you know, very low vision. So at that point, even if it gets worse, Muffin will already be adjusted to, you know, having a life with not that great of a vision. Um, am I sad? No, not really, to be honest. I kind of knew it was coming. Like, it, it, it wasn't a surprise for me. But I know you guys are curious and you guys wanted to know. So, yeah, Muffin basically can't see. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much what we learned. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. I might have to sit on the snooze a bit still. Yeah. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, send your wishes to Muffin. I'm sure she'll love it. Uh, see you guys next time, guys. Bye-bye.